Hello there, what's going on everybody? It seems like only hours ago I was talking to you about these rumored leaks about a Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader operative expansion packs and all of a sudden, almost like I predicted that this would be up within hours and all of a sudden the, the article is out there so this is confirmed, Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker are coming for the Rebellion and for the Empire respectively. So those of you who might have been worried that, oh, once the Clone Wars is announced, that's it for these other factions, well, this is going to show you that you don't have anything to worry about. There is certainly more in store for the uh, Imperials and for the Rebels. So that's very cool. And they are pretty good looking sculpts. This is definitely Luke Skywalker from uh, Return of the Jedi. And uh, we get a pretty good look at the rendering here. He's kind of going sideways and looking this way. All right, looks good. Looks good. I kind of was thinking maybe a little bit more holding out in front of him, but you know what? That's cool. And it is it is kind of cool because it does look like you'll be able to have them kind of like dueling each other, uh, which is nice. They also told you something really cool in here is that you can kind of interchange. They're going to also come with command cards, and you can interchange those command cards. And we're going to look a little bit at the command cards as well, but because they have the same name, I mean, I, really the only thing that distinguishes which command cards go for which one is, is the image. And there's nowhere in the rules where it says like that picture has to match up. Especially, that's important because the uh, Star Wars Celebration exclusive Vader um, has slightly different artwork in, in the top right hand corner. And so that's, um, you know, like the artwork doesn't necessarily have to match up, the name has to match up. And... It's still Darth Vader, whether it's operative or, or, you know, so that's interesting. And now what I'm curious of is can you use all six of, uh, if they're going to have three each, will you be able to use all six of, like, if you can you just go with Vader as your commander and all six cards, you know, uh, that he'll have? I mean, you'll be meeting those. I, I don't know if there will be, like, a rule that says you can only have one of each pip per, per name. Like, that may be a thing. And I'm curious to see how they will address that. But it does say they're interchangeable. So, uh, you know, like, like that's it. it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. And I can't wait to see them. But we can we get a little bit here. Uh, they have the painted version of Luke here. And he's painted a lot more like black and gray. He looks a lot more gray than black here. And and, 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 I, and I guess that, that does kind of highlight the details on the sculpt. But I'm more of a fan of mixing blue into my blacks to... Uh, I want the like the darkened areas to be a little more bluish, and then with like the, a darker blackish kind of gray as the highlight. Um, works a little better for my personal tastes, but uh, but overall, it's not a bad little paint job. But let's talk about this. Luke Skywalker did lose the gun. He lost the gun. He's got three force abilities and training, so that's just really cool. Like for for melee too, it's just really really cool for melee, and I like that they're giving more people. Uh, that, that giving more people stuff like so if you want to give him something like um, or like is it a, a tenacity or something like that if you wanted to uh, just make him a really nasty melee monster <laughs> I think that would be really cool and I think Luke is a good a good candidate for something like that too because he's not gonna have a defensive surge here so I mean granted he's got deflect so you know if you're do if you're dodging and stuff like that you can do it he does gain master of the force one. 200 points though, so this Luke is going to be a beast. I want you to look at his lightsaber though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven dice. And that that tells me, I think, force, uh, force um, or saber throw may end up being, I don't know, I don't want to say stapled to this guy, but maybe stapled to him, because at least you'll get a four dice attack. Um, but because it's because he has charge, it doesn't have relentless. So it's like, you know, I think it'll be an option. I don't know if, if saber throw will be all there is to it. But a four black die attack with surge to crit and impact two and pierce two is honestly not half bad in, in general. Uh, and, and and for a two hundred point unit for you to find yourself in a position where you you can't, uh, you know, I mean, I, honestly, well, he's, with speed two, if you could throw the saber, you could probably just charge anyway. But but it may be something that you want to consider. Especially if you're hiding, you know you don't want to lose a 200-point guy with no defensive surge. Um, still has seven health, so he's he's going to be survivable. Four courage. He is brave, dude. I mean, honestly, he is pretty brave, right? That's thematic. He did just be like turn himself in to Darth Vader. He's like, I'm going. I'll go face the Emperor. I don't care, you know. I, you, like uh, brave but stupid. I, you know, he might maybe it wasn't the right time to go face the Emperor. You know, I I don't know, but. Um, yeah, he's still got jump, he's got charge, he's got deflect, disengage when you perform, you may perform moves while engaged with one unit. 
one unit, so you're not going to be able to like if 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 you're if you're over you know double teamed or whatever, you're not going to be able to like he he force chokes two Gamorians in the movie, and then here they're like, all right, you can only force choke one Gamorian, and then just like walk away, right? Um, no, I'm kidding. Well, you, you can force choke as much as you want. I don't think he'll be able to take force choke though. That's dark side power, but still, um, uh, he's immune to Pierce, which is always good, and uh, for somebody especially that you is over two hundred points, you definitely don't want them just getting. You know, knocked out right away. Uh, and Master of the Force 1, which is great. Uh, seven black dice with Surge to crit is just really, really gorgeous. Gorgeous. This would be a really fun... I, I'm going to run this guy every single day. I'm going to... Every day. When, oh, my goodness. He's, he looks awesome. Looks awesome. And the thing is, he doesn't look like he's that different from regular Luke, but just just a, just a, just a nice upgrade. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm fine with him losing the pistol. I didn't want Luke to shoot anyway. Problem is, though, he's an operative, and you still need a commander, you know, and you're not going to be able to run Commander Luke and Luke, although that would be cool, what if they did like a, a Luke, like if they did a, 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 a Legends Luke and you had the Luke Skywalker, that would be fun, All right, let's, there's more stuff, let's talk about the rest of the stuff, because Luke's look cool, uh, they showed us his three pip command card, oh, and look at that artwork, it's beautiful, he's, look at him, look at him, he's, he's dropping the lightsaber, he's like, I am a Jedi, dropping the lights although i kind of seem to remember him kind of flinging it and i always thought dude there's like all this open space it's going to fall down a corridor you're not going to find it which means that when he was helping darth vader out he's like hold on dad i gotta go get my lightsaber i gotta find it it's in here somewhere and maybe he could have saved his dad if he had gotten out of there a little quicker and not you know so like i like i think this is actually a good change he should just drop it there's like you know, I don't need this thing, but let me just keep it close by because I have a feeling I might try to kill my nephew later on. So, uh, you know, I might need it for that. Uh, but yeah, it's so. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, I love get, I love seeing new stuff, so I'm in a good mood. What can I say? Uh, if you are too, if you're happy to see this new stuff, you know, give me give the video a thumbs up if you if you like to. Uh, anyway, um, all right. So Luke Skywalker gains defensive surge. Of course, this is just gonna be this turn and cannot perform attacks. I love I love this card. When he is issued an order. He may choose up to two enemy troopers at range one, and those units cannot perform attacks. This card is pure gold. Absolutely love it. It's kind of like Obi-Wan's hello there, right? Sneak in behind and just mess things up. I love it. But he's got to get there already. So, like, this is going to a card, like, like, mechanically... Thematically, it's perfect, but mechanically, it'll be a little tricky because you're gonna need to have you're gonna need to out activate your opponents and make sure you can activate Luke last and then sneak him in, drop him right when everything you know right where everything else is going, and then be like, boom, and then and, and, and do that, which is rough. It's just rough. I I could see like Leia, um, and, you know, giving free you know uh, Leia's command card that gives free movement to troopers, maybe being able to counteract that because I believe that's her two pip, and then she can. Is that her two pip or is that her three pip? Oh, I don't know. Um, let me let's. Let, I, regardless, you know, like stuff like that could potentially things that can give people movement during the command cards because they have to be at range one. So if you can get some people out of range or try to you know hide people behind blocking. Well, no, blocking terrain doesn't matter. They just have to be at range one. They don't have to be in line of sight. Looks like a cool card. I I, I love having that as an option. Um, the only problem is. The only problem is. He can't perform attacks, and while while that may I mean like this for objective play that's huge. You know, like, I I just look there's only me and Boba Fett and Darth Vader left. I'm gonna capture this objective, and uh, you know what we're not fighting on the last turn on turn six. Like on, in cases like that, it's huge. But but uh, you know sometimes like let's say you find yourself in a position where you got nobody at range one. You can then you're never gonna play this card because like what's the point of not being able to perform attacks if everybody else can still shoot you. I mean, granted, you're getting the defensive surge, so you got a little bit. There's a little bit of an advantage, and I like that, but it's, you know, I just I love having the option. But if that's the case, then I'll just play standing orders instead. Uh, you won't win the initiative. But at 3-pip, you might not go first anyway. Um, Vader's looks cool. He's definitely... Or so, first off, this is not the SDCC Vader, right? It's, uh, it's, it's a little different, but... For all you Vader lovers out there, you do have a new sculpt. Now, I thought this was going to be... This is one of those times where it's different, right? Like, your um, your artwork is is significantly different. He's holding the, the saber out front this way, but here he's like that. 
uh, you know. So that's that's pretty interesting. Kind of would have been cool if you come. Maybe he'll come with some extra arms. I mean, they've been starting to do that lately. Maybe they'll be like, oh, and by the way, these figures are going to come with all this extra stuff, so you can build them lots of different ways. Like I like that. I think that would be cool. Uh, it's also worth pointing out that these both come with surge tokens, uh, so that there's probably gonna, uh, you know, we don't see any a whole lot of stuff. But there's there's going to be things that give surge tokens. Like we we can even see from uh, one of Luke's cards that he's going to get, you know, the, the that surge uh, force card that Obi Wan gets. So. So that's cool. It has one we want on it. Darth Vader. Cheaper. A cheaper way to feel Darth. Not as good, maybe. Or maybe potentially better. They, he, well, he does have one thing that makes him definitely potentially better. So, uh, 170. So definitely cheaper. Again, but it's an operative, so you'll still have to take a commander. And that's kind of one of those things where maybe you're going to go with the generic commander. Maybe you're going to go with something else. Uh, but... Generic commander that puts you at risk of bounty, and there's you know there's things like that. Um, so Darth Vader has two force abilities and training. Again, we're getting that training, which is really really cool. Um, deflect, immune to pierce, Jedi Hunter, very cool. I actually saw somebody predict, I think it was on the forums, predict that he would have Jedi Hunter just like Grievous, especially if this is meant to be like it says the Emperor's apprentice. So I'm like maybe this is a, a younger Vader, you know. Um, because he's still got a fear value, right? He's still got a courage of three, so he's not fearless anymore. So maybe he's still got a little bit of Anakin Skywalker in him, and he's still got some emotion, right? Uh, so this is, you know, so if he's Jedi Hunter, he, when he's attacking a Jedi, he gets searched to crit. So this could be really good, uh, a good counter to Luke. Master of the Force, Relentless, which is way better than Charge, because he can do any attack. Um, which is cool because he actually comes with a ranged attack, so you don't have to give him uh, saber throw. Although I probably still will. Uh, and and, and the, the the ability that really really makes him spur. I mean, this is just this is insane. I just I, it's so good for him to be able to move speed two. I mean, Vader could go speed two, man, for crying out loud. While performing a move, you may gain a suppression token to increase your maximum speed by one that's awesome that's really 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 good for a character with relentless uh so that's his that mobility that's like the one number one problem with vader and this is just incredible now granted you do need to keep in mind you know while three courage is pretty good you'll probably be fine still need to keep that in mind but also it's a way for you to guarantee that you to get suppression so now you're a little more defensible because now you can have light cover you know other vader couldn't get suppression right um, oh, his lightsaber's actually got one less die. He's only got five dice with impact three and pierce three. I still, that's I, that's why I still think saber throws going to be like still mandatory here with relentless because uh, you're still going to roll three dice. This is going to be just as good as saber throw on, on a more expensive Vader. You've got force throw, which has got blast and a keyword called scatter that I haven't seen before. Um, I don't, I don't, it'll be interesting to see, like... It's interesting to see why I would want to roll only two black dice at range two, as opposed to three red dice with pierce three. If, you know, so scatter is, I mean, granted, I guess it's because it's cheap. Uh, like, it's, it's built into the it's built into the unit. We'll have to see what scatter actually does. I mean, blast is, is potentially good, but you're getting a whole die extra, and it's red. So I would, I mean, do you want two black dice with blast or three red dice without blast? Well, I'll probably take three red dice. I mean, it's situational dependent. Somebody with heavy cover... I'll probably take the two black dice, but uh, but if they don't have, you know, if they don't have, if they're not a Jedi, then and, I mean I don't have surge to crit anyway, so you know maybe the red dice would be better. So I think I'll still run saber throw on this Vader, but the other thing is he's only got two force upgrades, so uh, so you know, I'm not getting that much stuff, and also six health. So he's, you know, he's 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 not fully machine. He doesn't have all of his armor. I guess he hadn't had his uh, shoulders blown off yet or something like that. Um, and then they give us give us a look at his three pip. Which is really cool. Um, Darkness Descent. Now, it's a little blurry because they didn't give us the high-res version of this. But this is from Rebels. This is Darth Vader descending on his TIE Advance. Right before he fights Ahsoka. Which definitely makes me think Ahsoka is also coming. Which is also very cool. Of course she... I mean, of course she's coming though, right? I mean, honestly, let me know in the comments below. Do you think Ahsoka's coming? Oh, by the way... Speaking of comments below, you guys know that there's still time to enter to win the giveaway? $25 Amazon gift card. You just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. Uh, now, a winner for that should probably be announced um, not pretty soon. It'll be before Gen Con. So make sure you uh, 
you watch my videos, I usually announce the winners for giveaways at the end of a video, so I'll admit I do kind of want you to watch the whole video, um, you know, but those I usually put at the end. All right, so this card, um, so when he's just in order, he gains two Surge tokens. So that Surge is actually going to be really good on Vader, because he doesn't have any Surge natively. Um, and this card may be revealed at the start of the Deploy Unit step. So at the beginning of the game, this is how Vader is... Vader's going to straight up fly down on a TIE Advanced, which means I have to get a TIE Advanced to have him, like, deliberately land. Like, it's, it's going to be insane. Um... So he's going to be flying down to the battlefield on a TIE Advanced. Everybody's going to see it. So, like, he's not a secret. He's he's not, like, creeping in. He's just like, yeah, I'm here. This is where I'm going to land. All right. This is so cool. This is so so thematic. Like, the, the, the command cards they're showing us are incredibly thematic and uh, incredible. I love it. Um, so you may reveal this card at the start of the deploy unit step. If it is revealed, it must be uh, selected during turn one. So you're round one. So you're going to have to choose this as your one card. Um, he is going to gain Infiltrate and Scout 1, and he must be deployed at the end of setup. So he has to be your last unit. This is going to be really good, I think, for like uh, like one of those builds where you don't, maybe you have very few units, and you know you, this will give you the final deployment, so you get a little bit of that. Granted, with Infiltrate, if you're going last, you're going to have very few options, you know, and you're not going to have all the options in the world, but you can always at least deploy in your deployment zone. Despite you so and just not use the infiltrate ability, you're still gonna have scout one. So you're gonna have you're gonna have a lot of a lot of flexibility here. I just love this. And he's gonna have the two surge tokens. He's going first. This this is another way to get around the mobility. I feel like, however, I feel like this is a card I would play with Commander Vader as opposed to Operative Vader because Operative Vader's got spur and he doesn't really need that infiltrate and scout one. Whereas Commander Vader really could use that you know i mean yeah again you don't even have you get vader where you need him to be without having to use the tank absolutely absolutely uh and then we're getting oh so we also have hope right hope is a thing you know hope is great we already talked about hope in a previous preview we are getting a uh and we're getting fear dark side only you gain demoralize one and this is actually kind of similar to kind of what a lot of people predicted it might be like um after your rally step an enemy unit at range one or two gain a suppression token Pretty nice. Pretty nice. And this is, and especially if you're going early, I love it. I love it. And look, and they, they work pretty well together. I love that image. I love that image. All right, guys, that is our official confirmation, our official preview today. Looks pretty good. Let me know what you think. Do you like the new sculpt for Vader? Um, and honestly, you can, you can do, you can probably use whatever sculpt you want to use. You know, if you if you got one from like Skull Forge or something like that, you want to use that one, go for it. Um, and I don't think you could do that in a tournament, but I'm, I'm, you know, they said it's interchangeable, so I'm assuming you can probably use whichever, like, people will probably use this Luke a lot more than the other Luke, because they don't like the fact that the lightsaber's straight up, and then Luke can be shot, even, you know, behind a wall, and where you couldn't see him, and stuff like that, so I think that's why the lightsaber is a little bit lower. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine with me. That is fine with me. Um, I just kind of wish the head were facing the direction of the lightsaber, though. That would be kind of cool. Uh, but... What can you do? Maybe maybe you can just swivel the head a little bit. It shouldn't be too hard. All right, guys. That's all I've got for you today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I also want to thank my patrons on Patreon. You guys are absolutely amazing and definitely help make this all possible. Uh, and watch the in-flight report. I will be streaming it. I will be live at Gen Con. I will be working a lot at Gen Con. And I'll be playing a little bit at Gen Con. So if you see me, come say hi. And uh, that's all. All right. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.